Hey, this is Don Duran, co-owner of NSI Solutions. I'm here in the upper left corner of the United States, Washington State, on a beautiful Friday afternoon. And before I head home for what's promising to be a rainy spring weekend, I wanted to talk to you, explain to you, the two models of seam phantoms that we carry. Oh, wait a minute. My cameraman, who's clearly six feet away, says there's three models of seam phantom, and I guess that's why we're here today. Before I get started talking about the individual models, I want to explain all the seam phantoms come in a complete kit. They do not include the grinders or polishers, but they include everything else you need. You get a 48 inch glide guide, 72 inch and 92 inch are available separately. You get gauge blocks to locate the glide guide, C-clamps to clamp it down, and then you get a two inch cup wheel and 60, 150, and 300 grit rigid turbos that attach to the snail lock. We discuss these in some of our other videos. With each model, you get the specific hardware and parts you need to attach to the grinder or polisher. Leading off, we have what we refer to as our original electric seam phantom. This is essentially a dry Makita grinder that you see in shops all over the United States. It's a Makita SJS1 or SJS2. And those model numbers are 9564CV and 9565CV for SJS1, and then GA5042C and GA4542C for the SJS2. It'll work with any of those. And we'll throw those up on the screen here so you can see them. We'll also put the model numbers down in the description. It relies on external water feed that you control here. It sprays out the rub plate in the center and directed directly at the grinding surface. Um, it is a grinder. It goes to 10,000 RPM. Adjustable here. So when you are using the cup wheel, you want to turn it all the way up to five, which is 10,000. When you're using the turbos, you want to turn it down to about two, which is right around 4,000. Um, we include some special equipment for this, a spray skirt to keep it dry, an angle to deflect the water away, and then it does include a GFCI adapter. Anytime you're using an electric grinder in a wet environment, please make sure it's plugged into some type of GFCI protection. Another thing about these grinders is they will last much, much longer if you keep them dry. When you're done with them at the end of the day, flip up the skirt, spray it out with some dry air, wipe it off, leave the spray skirt up, let it dry. They will last much longer that way. It does come with a toolbox. You can use it in the shop. You can take it out on the job site, keep it in your install truck. All you need at the job site is a garden hose and an extension cord to create perfect seams. The next model that we use in our shop is the Air. We call it the Seam Phantom Air version. It is designed to mount to an air polisher and relies on the center water feed from the air polisher. There's only one speed, so you don't have to worry about changing speeds. It's a little bit lighter than that, and the air polishers last longer. Make sure you oil them occasionally. Um, now, many models of air polishers will work. This adapter here is two and an eighth inches inside diameter, and as long as your air polisher will slide in there, the screws tighten down around the outside, you can use it. Many, many models, uh, name brands, and uh, store branded polishers will work. We get a lot of questions. Can you convert one to the other? The electric, it is very easy to convert the electric to air. You buy this kit off our website. It's called an electric to air conversion kit. I think it's E to A kit, the SKU number. And there is a video on our YouTube channel that shows how to do it. It's very easy. It converts the electric to air. And the idea here is guys who started out maybe working on site in a driveway with an electric have moved up to a shop. They got a screw compressor. They're using air polishers. 
and I want to take their old seam phantom and convert it to air. And that's what this kit's for. Occasionally we get the request, can you convert from air to electric? And I'll say, just say no to that one. I can do it here, of course, because I have all the parts, but it is a pretty long list of parts to convert them and most people just don't think it's worth it. So that's the main two that we've had forever, the electric and the air. There is a third that's the original electric and the air. There is a third and that is the center water feed electric. This was developed for countries in Europe where they insisted on an electric polisher that was OEM provisioned for wet use. So this Makita Mates 2, or sorry, this Seam Phantom Mates 2 Makita PW5001C, um, it is a polisher, it only goes to 4400 RPM, turn it all the way up and leave it. It relies on the center water feed from the polisher. Um, otherwise, it's very, very similar. Again, it's OEM provisioned with a GFCI and a garden hose. You can use it in the shop or on the job site. It comes with a toolbox also, so you can take it with you. To summarize, we have original electric, air, center water feed electric. If you are having trouble converting the Makita model numbers to something you can buy uh, in other countries besides the United States, shoot us an email at info at NSI Solutions, and we can help you out. Also, check out our YouTube channel, NSI Tools, um, and you can see how to convert from electric to air. We have videos on the different types of turbos and how to use your seam phantom. And we update that fairly regularly. So stay well, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. types of seam phantoms, take one. Hey, this is Don Duran, co-owner of NSI Solutions. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> take two. Hey, this is Don Duran, co-owner of NFI. Take three. Take four. Three different types of seam phantoms, take 42. Take 79. And a little spray shield. Spray shield's missing. Oh. Cut! Is it still on? Everything on? Take, take, uh, I don't know, 97. I even forgot what I, how I was gonna start. Take 98. Hey, this is Don Duran, co-owner of NSI Solutions. I'm here in the upper left.